Dax is the eighth episode of the American science fiction television series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine. Plot After having a meal with Dr. Bashir, Lieutenant Dax is abducted by a group of aliens while walking back to her quarters. Dr. Bashir comes across the group and alerts Commander Sisko that she has been taken. The aliens nearly escape with her on their ship, having sabotaged Deep Space Nine's tractor beam, but the Deep Space Nine crew is able to re-establish the tractor beam and prevent the ship from leaving. Back on the station, one of the abductors, Alon Tandro, accuses Dax—the Dax symbiont, then in the body of Curzon Dax, of murdering his father, Ardalon Tandro, a famous military hero from Claestron IV, he wants to punish Jadzia Dax for the crime. His claim is based on the fact that during a civil war a coded message informed the opposing side of his father's location, and of the people who knew the location, Curzon was the only one without an alibi. Major Kira insists that Dax cannot be extradited to Claestron without an arbitration hearing under Bajoran law. At the hearing, Sisko argues that Jadzia and Curzon Dax are two different individuals, sparking a lengthy debate. The arbiter suggests removing the Dax symbiont and leaving Jadzia behind, but Dr. Bashir says that neither would survive the operation. While Sisko and Alon debate the merits of Illin's claim that Trills are responsible for crimes committed by past hosts, Odo visits Illin's mother, Anina. She tells him that Alon has become obsessed with finding the one who betrayed his father. Tandro's murder inspired his people to victory and he has since become a worldwide hero. However, Anina is adamant that Curzon did not betray her husband. Back on the station, Dax's fate is uncertain. Alon argues that failure to punish Trill symbionts for acts committed in past lifetimes would create a perfect crime. Curiously, Jadzia seems complacent about the entire affair. Odo discovers evidence of an affair between Curzon and Anina, giving him a motive for the murder. Anina admits the affair to Odo and reveals that her husband was not the hero in life that he was in death. As the hearing resumes, Anina states that at the time of the murder, Curzon was in her bed. The arbiter dismisses the case. After the hearing is over, Anina talks privately with Dax of how no one must ever know that her husband had sent the coded message himself in an attempt to betray his own people, and the rebels killed him for the favor. 